<coughs> Robofreeze has four settings. Off, lenient, strict, and very strict. You should never turn this dial to very strict. Why not, Professor? No problem. Let's see what Robofreeze can do. You seem like good kids. <laughs> Now, let's see if he can stop crime. With the bandits causing so much trouble, I could use some help with my police work. Morpho, morph into a police car. Perfect. Be sure to leash your dog. Oh, sorry, officer. Have a good day, young lady. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> Be careful not to kick the ball into the flowers. <laughs> In my city, you get a ticket. What? But... Ah! Oh, my ball. Oh, no! Something's wrong. Robo Freeze must have been turned to very strict. Look. Wow. You get ticket for walking on grass. I wasn't even walking on the grass. You were going to... What? We have to turn the dial down. Yeah. Aww. Go after it, Morphle. This has to stop. But how? I have an idea. We need Robo Freeze to come to us. Morph into a megaphone. Getting a ticket. No, Morpho. Phew. You did it, Meland Morph. Ahem. Oh, no. Maybe two Peter Freezes are too much. <laughs> Sticky Mobile!
It's such a hot day, Morphle. We should have an ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. Uh, huh? That's my new magic pet. He loves the cold. That's not a magic pet, Daddy. It's a penguin. What? Ah, so that's why it didn't seem to have any magic powers. We should bring it back to the South Pole. Into a hot air balloon. I can't believe I thought that poor penguin was a magic pet. Thank you for helping, Mila and Morphle. I already found a new magic pet for the magic pet store. This time, I'm sure I got it right. Something strange is happening for the last few days. My chickens have been disappearing one by one every night. That's strange. Morpho, that must be the chicken thief. Let's go get him. It's a UFO! It wasn't the fox, but aliens! Quick! Morphle, morph into a rocket! Can I offer you some freshly baked pancakes? They are quite tasty. Uh, no. Give back those chickens. But, but, you can't make pancakes without eggs. There are no egg beasts in space. I am so sorry, Earthling Bob. It wasn't my intention to steal your egg beasts. I mean chickens. All is good. If you promise you won't take my chickens anymore, you can come once a week and I will give you eggs. I promise, Earthling Bob, and in return I will give you some space pancakes.
camel doesn't have any more water to drink. Morphle, morph into an elephant. Now you can take some water from over there and use it to fill the camel's trough. When they did, 
little baby ducks came out. All of them were super cute and fluffy. Except for one of the ducklings. It was different. Because it was big and red. And it didn't have any feathers. And instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I is a duckling! It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly, and they made fun of it. Mm. Yes, the brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So sad that it flew off to play by itself. And when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no. Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. Oh, yeah! That's a good idea! So, the dino duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And they were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Yeah! And the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. And they lived happily ever after. The end. My growth ray can be used to turn these small plants into big trees. That's so cool! Tumbling test tubes. The battery is running out. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for buying those cheap knockoffs. Ah, here we go. <gasps> Look! It's a giant bird! Don't worry, I'll shrink it back. Uh-oh, it stopped working again. Morphle, morph into a pterodactyl. A giant bird? Not in my... Uh, hey! Give me back my sandwich! I hope you get indigestion! He keeps looking for new food! Let's lead him out of the city! Farmer 
Bob's farm. Here, the bird has enough food to eat until Professor Rasheed arrives. What happened to all my corn? There's only one cob left. Hmm. We can take care of that. Amazing. That's prize winning corn right there. Morphle, morph into a car. Look, Morphle, this is our picnic basket. Ah, Morphle hungry! No, 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 Morphle. First, we have to go to the forest. where we are going to have our picnic. Yay! Picnic! <laughs> this looks like the perfect spot. Let's set up the picnic. Now it's time to eat. Yay! Muffle! <laughs> oh no! It's raining! Quickly, pack up the picnic! You're so hungry! I have an idea! Above the clouds, there's no rain! <gasps> hey! It's the cloud monster! He's crying! That's why it was raining! Huh? What's wrong, Cloud Monster? I'm so lonely. <laughs> Cloud Monster, a picnic, a uh, share? Yeah, you can join our picnic. Really? <laughs> You're being very thorough, police officer Freeze. I have to be. Two police commissioners will drop by to see if I'm doing a good job as a police officer. Everything has to be perfect. Well, then we won't keep you. Good luck. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Why are you not wearing your official cleaning hat? No cleaning hat. Cleaning hat? Uh, sorry, uh, you must be the commissioners. Uh, welcome. Your good police officer has to know all the laws. Yes, I, I believe I do, sir. We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, a red light. Why aren't you singing? Singing? A police officer at the red light should be singing. Uh, uh, look at me, uh, the happy policeman! Too late. Another law I didn't know. No eating while on duty.
so many tickets. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to jail. Why would they arrest him? Morph into a race car. Hey, Meland Morphle. What happened to you? As it turns out, I don't know half the laws. <sighs> I'm not fit to be a police officer. That can't be right. We need to get to the bottom of this, Morphle. No hats in the park! Morph into a bush! No picnics with a blanket, or near a tree, or with a basket! With Peter Freeze gone, we can do anything, Yorn. <laughs> yeah, Stein. Bandits! So, they made up all those strange laws. Two can play at that game. Oops, sorry. You will be sorry once I find, uh... Where is it? Let me see. Uh, so, no, not, not that one. <laughs> ah, here it is. When a person bumps into the police commissioners, the police commissioners should keep walking. Uh, okay. Come on, Yorn. They have to leave their bag of loot at the door of the police station and go inside. They now have to take off their fake mustaches and call out, We're the bandits! Uh, wait, this doesn't make any sense. It does to me. You're under arrest. Thank you. 
<laughs> With these seeds, my heads will grow so big that those pesky neighbors won't be able to annoy me any longer. Hmm. But how many seeds do I need? Hmm. Oh well, let's just plant all of them. <laughs> Little dragon isn't sad anymore. What? To you, little dragon. You see, Mr. Vanderboos? Magic pets are super friendly and helpful as well. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, Telefox. I've got a surprise for you. Have a look in the backyard. <laughs> it's a new bed for Telefox. <laughs> He's gonna love it. I'll throw the old one away.
Oh, no. What happened? I got scared and threw my box of ice cream in the tree. <laughs> we'll help Morphle morph into a fire truck. Thank you so much. Now I can serve ice cream again. To you. Ice cream! Thank you. Thank you. But we don't know where Telefox went. Morphle, morph into a helicopter so we can see him from the air. Shoo! I didn't mean to do that, Marky! I think Telefox has been here, too! Marky! <laughs> stop it! Yeah! Uh, I'm not anymore! Hmm... Where could he have... Aha! Daddy said he threw Telefox's old bed away! And where do things go when he throw them away? Uh, garbage dump! Yeah! Oh, it smells in here. <gasps> there it is! Telefox, we found your old bed! Telefox! Now let's take you and your bed back to the Magic Pet Store. So, Telefox was looking for his old bed? <sighs> okay, you can keep it. After we wash the garbage smell out of it. 